it's called Jesse. I wanted to start off by showing you how I use my scale. So I have a scale. Um, of course, it's a digital scale that weighs in grams that has the tear. I also have a scale that I use a power cord with. And the reason is because I got tired of buying batteries for my other scale. However, I do have the option to have a battery. So it does have a battery slot at the bottom. And this is what you would call a baker scale. So it's massive and it takes up a lot of room, but it only sits on my kitchen counter. So I don't take my scale with me to restaurants or friends' houses or anything like that. It only sits on my kitchen counter. Um, and I wanted to show you the importance of weighing things instead of using measuring cups. So I also have these pretty little measuring cups here. So we'll start with oatmeal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear out the weight of the, the measuring cup. This is a half cup measuring. And the container of oats, these are just old fashioned oats from Harris Teeter, a local grocery store here. And the container says a half cup is 40 grams dry. So now I'm going to weigh it out and see if that's true. So I was able to put 52 grams of oats in this measuring cup, not just the 40 grams. A better way to weigh your oats and figure, figure out your oats is to put it a bowl, the bowl you're going to cook your oats in on the scale, tear it so that it reads zero and it doesn't, it's not counting the weight of the bowl. And then you can use a scoop if you want um, to pour 40 grams of oats in there. There we go. Nice. And that way you can be more accurate. And I did a side-by-side -side comparison of the macros and calories in a serving size. And then on the right-hand side, I calculated the calories and macros for the serving that fit into the measuring cup. So for the old-fashioned oats, that was 45 more calories fit into the measuring cup. All right, now let's move on to the other um, one that's pretty common to to, to that you can fit more in the measuring cup or the scoop. So usually your protein powder will come with a scoop. This is just Quest protein powder. This is multi-purpose mix. I normally use it for, for baking. So I'll put it in my oatmeal. I'll put 10 grams in my oatmeal just to thicken it up a little bit and to add a little bit of protein. All right, so let's um, tear out the weight of the scoop and we'll fill it to the top. So in that scoop, we got 34 grams. One scoop, one serving is actually 28 grams. For the Quest protein powder, it was 20 more calories that fit into the measuring cup versus the serving size. And the other notorious one is peanut butter. Peanut butter really made me sad when I found out that a tablespoon really wasn't a tablespoon and also what a tablespoon really was. Um, so I have a tablespoon here. So I'm going to tear the weight of the tablespoon and then we're going to fill it up with some peanut butter. I hope this doesn't get messy. I'm going to get um, a knife to level it off. So I was able to put 20 grams in one tablespoon. That means if I were going by tablespoons, I would have 40 grams um, instead of the 32 grams that is one serving. For this one, I didn't bring the bread, but you could put your plate, your bread, and then spread your peanut butter onto your bread until you get the, the amount that you want. Um, and I used to eat um, peanut butter out of the jar by the spoonful. 
and two tablespoons has 190 calories. So I was eating quite a bit of peanut butter and I do love peanut butter. And for the peanut butter, 48 more calories fit into two tablespoons than would have been if we measured it out by weight in grams. And you may be thinking, eh, that's not a big deal. But when you add them across the three foods, it kind of adds up. This is just three foods. In three foods, we've already underestimated by 113 calories. How many foods do you eat a day? If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can get a notification the next time I upload the next video. Thank you for spending some time with me.